made somebody's dreams come true. Yeah, I hope numbers. so. That's pretty important. Read right there. <laughs> well, it was a historic week. The arrival of the first doses of the COVID vaccine spread a real sense of hope across the country. And tonight we take a closer look at what the doctors and nurses on the front lines are calling the beginning of the end. Some arrived before the sun. Others rolled into applause. This is what history looks like, and it came in a tiny bottle. Today is a very happy day for me because today is almost like uh, the light at the end of the tunnel for me. Tracy Everett is an emergency medicine nurse at Cook County Health Stroger Hospital. I come to work every day because this is what I signed up for to do, to be a nurse, to take care of others, to take care of the underserved population that really needs my help. Tracy, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm very proud that I was able to survive and not get afflicted with the COVID myself and then be able to be here today to get the injections. I'm more excited than anything. Dr. Jaime Moreno grew up near Mount Sinai Hospital. There's never a boring day at Sinai. The emergency room physician has treated hundreds of COVID patients. You see how entire families are affected. You, you've unfortunately had uh, multiple family members from single families come in sick and multi multiple family members pass away from the disease. Right, you ready? Ready. It's a very welcome day. We needed something to turn the tide. We're not doing too well, so this is a very big day. All right, thank you. Vaccinations ran late into the evening at Hinsdale Hospital. It's like Christmas. Everybody's kind of on edge and excited and um, ready to get going with this. Each injection carefully documented on paper. Smile. And for posterity. That's it? Every time I, I come into the hospital, you know, you always wonder, is today going to be the day where potentially I take my mask off at a wrong time or I rub my eyes at a, an inopportune time and you know I go home to a family and you know I'm always concerned am I bringing something home to them. COVID has been a constant in their professional lives but for some it's personal. Uh, my dad died one month ago today from COVID. Certified nurse midwife Jackie Noto's father Rick Bender was only 61 years old. I didn't get to see him. I didn't get to say goodbye. So I'm often that support person for clients who can't have all the family that they might want to attend the birth, but I couldn't go be the support person for my person. And so anything that we can do to reduce numbers like is imperative. Very excited though to get this, uh, get this rolling, get my get my people protected. I think it's great that, you know, Chicagoland's been able to get the vaccine and that the healthcare workers are, are getting vaccinated so that we can continue on and take care of patients and not be sick ourselves. And we're done. Yay! Yay. Woohoo! I believe this is hope. I'm very hopeful. 